okay this is my solar heater and before you say anything no it's not a toy it's not a gimmick this is a solar heater for the pool and it's a lot of work to make it and it's quite big and heavy these are two four by eight sheets of plywood and each sheet of plywood has 400 feet of irrigation tubing in it and the cold water goes in here circles through 400 feet it exits from this line goes into this one and it comes out here and goes to the pool now this thing is on a trailer as you can tell it's very heavy duty construction because I didn't realize when I built this how heavy these panels are this panel with 400 feet of water uh, tubing filled with water is quite heavy and that's why I had to get a set of trailer wheels from a trailer to build the cart on and the cart is quite heavy duty made with 4x4s and as you can see it tilts to get the morning sun and the afternoon sun right now right in the middle of the afternoon it's uh, 46 degrees Fahrenheit where I live which is cold and it's May believe it or not and as you can see it leans over pretty good watch so it almost faces uh, it's heavy almost faces the ground almost vertical late in the afternoon see so what I do also in the morning is face it towards the morning sun, which is the east. I can rotate it early to catch the sun in the morning. And then I'll spin it around towards the west as the sun's going down. Now, I got most of the idea for this thing from a little video on YouTube I saw years ago. This is about five years old now. And um, this is Lexan, not plexiglass. Plexiglass will crack and turn white. Okay, you want to know what this costs? I'll give you a rough idea. Two sheets of plywood, womanized, with two by fours. I split down the middle to make the ridge. That's around eighty dollars. Um, the wood I had for free, I left it, it was left over for another job, so the trailer didn't cost me anything. The wheels cost me a hundred dollars for that their little trailer wheels. Each roll of tubing was a hundred dollars. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and all these little wire things that hold the the tubing separate cost me $100 so say $600 for the panels in the trailer add the wood probably $700 for everything and the hinges there's hinges there too so I hinged it back so I can actually adjust where I want it but I don't adjust it anymore once I set it I set it so this is the pool here it's about 15 by 26 around 9,000 gallons of water and here's the return line from the solar heater it's feeding my pool there's the incoming water. It's probably at 46 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And coming out, it's close to 80. It's warm. There's two panels going full steam. Now, I'll go over and show you how I hooked it up to the pool. Okay, here is the output of the sand filter. It goes to my heat pump. Yes, I have a heat pump. I have to use that to keep the pool warm at night because it drops down about five to seven degrees every night. So this here heat pump is a 50, uh, I think it's 50,000 BTUs or whatever. I don't remember now. And then it leaves the heat pump and goes over to my salt injector. That's another video I'll have up soon. This is a salt water pool. And then it goes to the return line back into the pool. But I put a T in the return line and it goes to a shut off and it goes to another shut off on the top of my pool. And this is where the cold water goes to that shut off. So I can turn it off at night. And this goes over to the heat pump. So the heat pump the field I mean the solar heat is up in the field and the hot water comes back and I'll show you where that goes okay here's that return line I mentioned okay it's not very hot it's, it's warmer than the pool water let's see what the temperature is first I'll show you the temperature of the pool which is really cold right now because it's that time of year it's 50, yeah, really cold, it's not warm at all yet. 52 degrees. See that? 52. Actually, yeah, 50. -ish. Now, let's put the water from the heat pump, the solar heater, into that, and I'll show you. There's 60. Sixty-eight. 
Okay, it looks like it's 70 degrees. So there's a 20 degree difference in the water as it leaves here and goes through my heavy duty solar panels over there, 70 degrees. So that's a pretty good return, 20 degrees more. And that's a good flow. That definitely helps increase in the heat in the pool. Now, normally I cover this at night with the uh, pool cover, but it's too soon for the pool yet. It's only May, so I'm not worried about it at all. I still have to get more salt in it, and I will put another video up showing the salt system soon. So if you have any questions about my solar panels, let me know, and I'll see if I can get back to you. I will get back to you, obviously, with information if you, if you ask it. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked this video.